here on Canada's Home for Hoops. Andrew Wiggins head coach, Gus Gymnopoulos, and the Vaughn men's basketball team. Um, they had a rough game in the finals of AFSA, and Gus made a tweet saying, hey, guess what? Why are there inexperienced refs refing the AFSA finals? Well, the end result of this tweet was the OABO suspended Gus Gymnopoulos. Well, they didn't suspend him, but they refused to ref his games for two years. That is an extremely long period of time for someone who's done a lot for the game and a lot for the young men in Vaughn. So my question to you, Gary Durant, is, is the OABO out of bounds on this call? Well, I think, uh, first of all, I support Gus 100%, and uh, we know that it's a very emotional game, so uh, maybe he shouldn't have taken to social media. But was but the tweet but that but bad? at the end of the day, I don't see anything wrong with that tweet. And at the end of the day, we need to make it more about the kids. When you remove a coach like that who's not only is great at engaging kids in an area that needs that engagement, right, but he's good at what he does. He's won before, he's produced before, and he's over there teaching life skills. It's not fair. We've got to put the yep. kids first. We've got to get back to that. Now, Morgan, the OABO is not a government or a, a district organization. It's a private company, yes. and it's made this decision that affects, you know, a school board and affects yes. the children. Your take on what this private private business has done to the game and to these kids. Well, yeah, well, because I wrote a, a, a story yes, about Yes, you it actually for wrote the, about this for the Star, Star, so I talked to, talk to got to hear both sides, I talked to both sides. Yep. Um, and awesome. It's, it, it seems to me that there needs to be, for, for conflicts like this, some type of independent arbitration. Yes. Uh, OABO, without saying they're right or wrong, they, they feel they were wronged. Um, and they By a tweet right. that did not have any um, <laughs> inflammatory language. Right. No. The thing is, um, they don't have authority over coaches, so it's not a suspension. Right. It's a They're just refusing. It's a boycott. Right. Which is, it's a boycott. But if you're the right. only body that does that yes. work, it's practically a suspension. Yeah, right. we, no, well, you have a monopoly. It's a, yeah, it's they a have boycott. a monopoly on basketball, yes. which is unfair. Right. So, and, and now, uh, Gymnopolis, because he's had to go to court now, so yes. January 21st, they'll right. be in court uh, to, to see if a judge can overturn this right. boycott. Because, again, you know, you have all these people in the basketball community uh, and their hands are tied in terms of uh, settling this conflict that really shouldn't, when I look at it objectively, this is just an observer, not right. as, a, as a reporter yeah. or anything like that, not right. taking sides, right. should never have come to this. The Does grown men could have settled this. That Gus is also a referee within he the was same organization. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Well, right? Longer. That's so. crazy. Hey, but listen, we haven't done a parting shot in a while, so I'll just say, give me a, give me a one shot, please, sweets. And I'll say this. To the OABO, we love you. I know I've had my ups and downs with you as a very bad pickup and rec basketball player, but please don't punish the ones that are doing the good work for the kids. Gus Gymnopoulos is a hero of mine. He's done great things. Absolutely. Shouts out to Andrew Wiggins, the Wiggins family, everyone up in Vaughn. We support you guys. This has been the Business of Basketball episode of The Hangout featuring Morgan Campbell, Sonny Pathak, and Gary Durant. Shouts out to my entire crew. 2016 is upon us. All-Star is here. Let's get it. Toronto, let's go. 